Uwiteka nyiringa bushobora byose wese w'umwami wacu Yesu Kristo we watugeneye uyu munsi mwiza wo kumvira mijambo ryawe ndakwinginga kugira ngo umugaragu wa ugiye kuri vuga muvuga butumwa mu gisha Robert ndetse no use mu riryo jambo ariwe mutabazi Moses mwami wanje mbashyize imbere yawo kugira ngo bagirire neza ubuzu z'imbaraga z'ijambo ryawe maze bari vuga bashiza amanga kugira ngo ni ryumvikana uwo ryumva mu matwi wese rimanuke rije mu mutima ritandukanye ubugingo amagufwa n'imisokoro ribangurirwe kugira ngo rigenzure buri wese igitekerezo cya buri wese mu mutima we maze rihindure buri wese uwihana yihane yakiragakiza ukomerezwa muri Yesu Kristo arusho gukomerezwa muri Yesu Kristo Mwami wacu kingura imitima y'abaryumva n'amatwi yabo baryumvire kuryemera no kuryizera badashidikanya udafita gakiza ku mwami Yesu Kristo akakire mu mbaraga zako kandi ugafita gakomerezwemo nuko tweshe tubumukumbi wa Yesu Kristo uhereye umunsi wa none kugeza iteka ryose kandi tuhora twiboneza nkuko Yesu Kristo aboneye mwami nyiringa bibyo mbigusabye nize mu izina rya mwami wacu Yesu Kristo amena Amen. Yes, ashimwe cyane. Praise the Lord. Ah, uh, umwami wacu ashimwe kubwo uyu munsi mwiza. We thank the Lord for this good day. Turashimira Imana yuko yaturinze. We thank God for keeping us safe. Eh, nabwo ari ibintu umuntu yigeza ho kugitike. It's not by our own making. Ahubwo ni Imana iba yabigenye. But it's only God's working. Rimwe na rimwe tukabona biba. Sometimes we see it happen. Uh, Nitu vi hagachiro wenda kubera ko kuva wavuka kujizi mnya kujize uonavu chabukira. And we don't value it because we have seen days pass since we were born. Ariko mubijukuri abarubu ni nzibu giman. But actually it is the protection of God. Uh, Turashimiri mana ejiko meze kuturi nda ndetse namwe kabarinda muri ibi bihe bigoye we thank God who has kept us and has kept you also in these hard times. E, ndabizi ko haribenshi ichichorezo chaji ze hengaruka. I know this pandemic has affected very many of you. Harabarwaye, some of you were sick. Harabarwaje abavandimwe, others had sick relatives. Ah, hari nabagize ibyago kirabahitana. Others um died because of the pandemic. Ariko turashimira Imana abakiriho, but we thank God for you who are still alive. Nabakirwaye turashimira Imana yuko nubwo barwaye ari bazima turizera Imana ishobora byose yuko bazakira. And we thank God for those who are still sick, we believe that God will heal them. Uh, we want to share the word of God today. But before we say the word of God, let us first introduce ourselves. Uh, I'm called Robert Mogisha. I fellowship from Miracle Center Remera. I am so honored today to share the word of God with you. Uh, the interpreter is called Moses Mutabazi. I'm also a Christian and of Miracle Center, uh, Iremira. Uh, I want us to talk about a word. Having a pure heart. Kujira umutima uwaneye, having a pure heart, ni chini jikome ye chane, it is a very, very hard thing. Ni chini chaga chiro, it is so valuable. Uh, Bunimonuwe se akwiri ya gusabimana, and every person has to seek God, kujira ngo imihe ubunu, so that you have the grace, gugu shawara kumva akamaro changwa se aga chiro, of understanding the value and the importance, kukujira umutima uwaneye, of having a pure heart. Ndabi ziko, uh, Namagambo wenda tukwa jie tukwa mwa kenshi. I know we've heard about this so many times. Ndetse rimwe na rimwe tukajira honga hao tuka tukwa mwa nasa anzwe, tukwa mwa nabule mera jifite. And sometimes we devalue it because we think they are usual words. Tukwa mwa naga chiro ajifite. We think these words have no value. Ariku kuri nuko. But the truth is. Namagambo ako meika anda fitaga chiro. These are very important and very hard words. Mubuzima gumu kristo uja mwijuru. In the life of a Christian going to heaven. Kandi ndi zerako 
nta mu Kristo utagamije kujya mu ijuru ubwo wonaga bari mu Kristo and i believe every christian's mission is going to heaven rero ibinjibi byaryo hera matwi yawo cyangwa wakumva bi nyine ukerensa wumva ari ibintu bisanzwe so whether you take this as valuable or you take it as something that is not so valuable ariko na magambo akeneye kubwirwa umukristo wese cyangwa se itorero rya Kristo muri rusange but every christian and the church of christ in general needs to hear about this hari gihe njya mbigereranya na kire cyangwa dose cyangwa imiti baduha kwa muganga i sometimes compare it with the prescription from the doctors hari gihe umuntu ajya kwa muganga sometimes when you go uh, to the doctors bakakwandikira imiti they prescribe they give you tablets maybe sometimes they are harmful or you fear them because sometimes you feel nauseated and maybe vomit they give you maybe medicine to swallow uh, the, the syrup when you take that medicine you feel nauseated and you feel the body has changed somehow so, so sometimes we think the doctor knows that that is the right medicine even if you feel nauseated by the medicine and sometimes you even vomit after vomiting uh, you think maybe all the medicine has now come out if you were to vomit all the medicine we couldn't be seeing people being healed what i mean here is that even if you take the sour medicine and get nauseated and vomit but all the medicine doesn't come back some little medicine remains in the body which i can compare with this word of god sometimes you don't want to hear about it but it is worthy of saying we have to say this such that in the people that we hear about it, maybe one, two, or three people will be touched by the word. Maybe somebody will be touched when they had backslid and then they come back to the right ways. Let us have pure hearts. We're going to read the scripture. Matayo We are going to read from the 5th chapter of the book of Matthew. Dusome umurongo cyane cyane wo murongo wa 8. We're going to start from verse 8. Uh wenda we waza guhera ku murongo wa mbere. I can start from verse 1. Icyanditswe icyanditswe kivuga ku kubahiriwe. It talks about the blessed people. Umurongo wa 8 uravuga ngo guhahirwa abimitima iboneye Blessed are the pure in heart. For they will see God. I started by saying that every Christian, every vision of a Christian, it is to go to heaven. Going to heaven is seeing God. The scripture is telling us that blessed are those who are impure in heart. For they will see God. Not among those who will see God. But those with pure hearts. That those are the ones that shall see God. So every Christian that has a mission and a vision of seeing God of getting eternal life. What you are asked to do is always having a very pure heart. Always being pure. That is the only time when you will be able to get the kingdom of God. That is when you get eternal life. That is when you get eternal life. Eternal life isn't something you can get as a gift from somebody. Sometimes we have things 
byiza by'agaciro bihenze very expensive and valuable items byinjira kamaro mu buzima very important in life ariko rimwe na rimwe but sometimes na kiguzi wabitanzeho you have given nothing for it ari impano wahawe it was just a gift wenda warayihawe no mubyeyi maybe by parent warayihawe n'inshuti maybe by friend ariko but ahanga ho kugira ngo uzabone ubugingo buhoraho for you to be able to get eternal life na gari ibintu uzaburaho ngaho gusa ngo ubone biraje it won't come just anyhow hari cyo bigusaba you have to do something hari intambwe usaba usaba gute a step for you to make hari imbaraga bigusaba there is some power you have to render ugomba gushyiramo imbaraga you have to put some effort kugira ngo ushobore kuzabona ubwami bw'Imana for you to see the kingdom of god izo mbaraga nizi which power is that now nuko ukwiriye kubaho you have to live a life ukwiriye kugenda you have to walk ukwiriye kuvuga you have to talk ukwiriye gutekereza you have to think ibijyanye nubushake bw'Imana things that are in line with the will of god if you take it as a whatever you think because we see mission man have to honor god kuburyo buri gihe cyose aho uri hose that wherever you are waje wi wi teritorishi mu mutima you know you look at yourself inside the heart ukibaza ngo you ask yourself ese na wamboneye am i pure umutima wanje wabuboneye is my heart pure ese na banejejwe am i pure Ese impanda ivuze none aha ngaha If the trumpet sounds tonight Ese najya mu ijuru can I go to heaven Kuko reka tujye tunabivuga Let us always talk about it Ah uh, impanda irahari You know the trumpet is there Igihe cyari cyo cyose ushobora kuvuga Any time it can sound Niba ishobora kuvuga igihe cyari cyo cyose tutazi If it can sound at any time we don't know Bira dusaba no guhora twiteguye buri gihe cyose It requires us to be ready all the time Dusome cyane tswe hano mu Baheburayo let us read the scripture in the book of Hebrews Ibice 12 we're going to start from verse from chapter 12 umurongo tukadusoma umurongo wa 10 na na kane verse 14 Haravuga ngo mugire umwete wo kubana n'abantu bose amahoro nuwo kwezwa kuko utejejwe atazareba umwami imana make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy without holiness no one will see the lord hano iki cyanditswe this scripture kirongera gushimangira cyane tutwa banje gusoma it emphasizes the first scripture ngo mugire umwete wo kubana n'abantu bose amahoro that make every effort to live in peace with everybody ngo ndetse no wo kwezwa and to be holy kuko utejejwe for without holiness atazareba umwami imana no one will see the lord ute ngo tugire umwete wo kwezwa that we have the effort of being holy kubera yuko niba wejejwe for if you're holy ubwami bw'Imana uzabubona the kingdom of god is yours ariko bugingo buhora which is eternal life ariko niba utejejwe but if you're not holy ijambo ry'Imana rirabisobanura the word of god explains it dirasobanutse it is understandable niba utejejwe if you're not holy niba udafite umutima uboneye if you don't have a pure heart ubwami bw'Imana ubwibagirwe forget about the kingdom of god wibagirwe ni wumva bavuga ubugingo buhoraho wowe ubyu nuko byumva nk'imigani if they talk about eternal life talk look at that as maybe proverbs or riddles hari haro mono no vise muri iminsi ba mvuga igezweho there is some common uh, talking that is now going on umuntu yakora nk'ikintu when somebody does something wenda kitari kiza which is maybe not good bakabivuga mu rwego rwo gutebya cyangwa se ari nk'urwenya they say it in a very casual way bakavuga ngo ngo we ijuru they say that for you heaven ngo ntaryo uzabona you won't see it ngo ahubwo ngo uzaribona kuri status yanje nge nageze yo you will see it on my status when I'm, I'm already in heaven eh nuko uvuga ngo icyo nashaka kuvuga niki what i want to say is this niba ubaye ho ubuzima umutima wa utejejwe if you're living a life where your heart is not holy umutima hawe utaboneye if your heart is not pure isuru ryibagirwe forget about heaven kubera yuko bibilia irasobanutse because the bible is clear ibyanditswe birabisobanura neza scriptures explain wabimitima iboneye that those with pure hearts abo ngabo nibo bazabona imana those will see god ngo tugire umwete wo kwezwa that let us make an effort to be holy 
ngo kubera ko utezejwe for whoever isn't holy wangu ntabwo bishoboka ko yazabona imana that will never see god mu kristo uneza matwi urimo kunkurikira you christian listening to me and following me nagira ngo ngusabe Usabimana imbaraga I request you to ask God spar Imana ikugirira ubuntu for God to show you faith Imana idufashe for God to help us kugira ngo iduhe izo mbaraga zo 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 guhirimbana so that we get that power to make emphasis kugira ngo dushobore kubaho ubuzima bwejejwe so that we live a very holy life kugira ngo dushobore gutunga imitima iboneye so that we have pure hearts kugira ngo tuzashobore kubona ubwami bw'Imana so that we can see the kingdom of God kugira ngo tuzashobore kuragwa ubugingo buhoraho so that we inherit eternal life umu Kristo you know the journey of a christian burya buri muntu wese uri mu rugendo everybody who is on a journey abafite ahaje they got somewhere they are going abafite aho agana they are going somewhere aho hantu iyo iyo ahageze iyo ujeze aho wajaga so when you reach your destination wowe uvamo you live undi nawe agakomeza and others continue nunda agakomeza and others continue ukabaka umwaka agenda sigara hanga hunda sigara hari ndo sigara hari so people remain and others continue uko buri muntu wese afita hwaje because everybody has a destination kandi buri muntu wese aho ajara hazi and who everybody knows where they are going yo mpamvu umuntu agera hana akavuga ati genda narijaga hano rasigara that's why people get off the bus and say i'm remaining here nibwo busobanuro navuga ngo buri rugendo rwose that's why i was saying that every journey duba rufite aho rusoriza has a destination urugendo rw'umu Kristo so the journey of a christian aho rusoriza na handi the destination is only ni mu bugingo buhoraho in eternal life kuko nico kintu gikomeye cyane because it is the hardest thing dimwe nanimwe tujya twirengagiza cyangwa se twibagirwa sometimes we forget about it Chatumye imana itanga umwana wayo That's why God gave his only son Niyo mpamvu yonyine nyamukuru It is the only principal reason Imana yatanze umwana wayo God gave his only begotten son Kugira ngo aze kudupfira so that he comes and dies for us Reka dusome cyo cyanditswe Let us read that Nubwo akenshi na kenshi Tuchumva even if sometimes we have uh, we had about it ariko reka tugisome but let us read about it uko nabivuze tanje mbivuga as i talked about in the beginning ne ni nka wa muti it is like the medicine urawunwa you take it ukagira ugaruka some medicine comes ariko burya hagira no sigara but some medicine remains in the body nibe ngi bireka tukocane tsonje tugisome let us read the scripture waracyumvise we've heard about it ushora kumva ari ibisanzwe maybe you feel it is usual ariko ahari wenda hari uri bucyumve yumva ari gishashya mu buzima bwe but maybe somebody who here it has new in cyangwa se wenda hari uzacyumva ari ubwambere cyumvise maybe somebody who hate for the first time muko nawe uh inshuro ya mbere wenda wacyumvise as you did on your first time wabihaye agaciro you valued it ariko kumisa yagitambuka but as days passed on igiye kikagera ukumva utangiye kubikerensa utangiye kubyoroshya a time comes and you feel they have no value reka dusome yohana bice bitatu we going to read uh, john gwera ku murongo wa 14 uh, from verses 14 haravuga ngo kandi nkuko mose yamanitse inzoka mu butayo niko umwana w'umuntu akwiriye kumanikwa kugira ngo umwizera wese abone guhabwa ubugingo buhoraho kuko imana yakunze abari mwisi cyane byatumye itanga umwana wayo w'ukinege kugira ngo umwizera wese atarimbuka ahubwo ahabwe ubugingo buhoraho amen dikanonye so muno ngwa 16 kuko imana yakunze abari mwisi cyane byatumye itanga umwana wayo w'ikinege kugira ngo umwizera wese atarimbuka ahubwo ahabwe ubugingo buhoraho reka no mucyongeza abadusomere gwera ku mwaka wa 14 amen we are reading from the third from the third chapter of john we are starting from verses 14 it says just as moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness so the son of man must be lifted up that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life ngo huko imana yakunze abari mwisi that for god so loved the world ibyo nje ibyo ngo byatumye itanga umwana wayo so he gave his only begotten son it is very essential turebe noneho impamvu ngo impamvu 
Yatanze umwana wayo the reason he gave his only son gutanga umwana wayo wukinege cyari byari byagaciro cyane you know it was so valuable for God to give his only son but the impamvu yatumye imana itanga umwana wayo but the reason behind that ngo kwari kugira ngo it was because ngo uza mwizera wese that whoever believes in him ngo atazarimbuka shall never perish ngo ahubwo azahabwe cyangwa azaragwe ubugingo buhoraho but have and get eternal life ubugingo buhoraho eternal life nebyo mavu nabwira ngo nico kintu cyagaciro kurusha ibindi byose that's why i told it is the most valuable thing of ubuzima bw'umukristo in the life of a christian Imamvu ari kintu cyagaciro the reason it is so essential byatumye imana itanga umwana wayo it made god give his only son araza ari aradupfira he came and died for us ari itanga he gave himself anyura mu mibabaro he passed through persecution mibabaro natekereza ko hari umuntu ushobora kwiyemeza kwinyuramo and i think nobody can sacrifice to that level na muntu ushobora gufata umwanzuro nobody can make a decision ngo anyure mu mibabaro nk'iya so Kristo yanyuzemo of going through the persecutions like Jesus did na bashobora kuba baranyuzemo bakicwa na gari bo babihisemo even those who died because of it it wasn't because of their own making ariko nabwo ndabona umuntu wabihisemo i have never seen somebody deciding like that ndetse nanubwo ndabona umuntu and i have not even seen anybody ushobora kuvuga ngo ngiye gutanga umwana umwe mu bana afite who can say that i'm giving one of my children tureke no gutanga umwe ufite live alone giving one of your children ariko ufite benshi imagine even if you have many no gutanga umwe byakunanira just giving one of them can kandi, fail you kandi birumvikana nako byoroshye and it is understandable it is ariko it imana is yaramutanze but god gave him nawe aritanga arabyemera he also gave up himself acha mu mibabaro ikomeye he passed through persecution ariko ayinyuramo but he passed through that we ari afite intego he had a mission avuga ngo ndanyura muri iyi mibabaro he was saying i passed through this persecution kubera intego kubera umurimo natumwe na data because of the mission of my father kugira ngo nshobore gusohoza so that i bring to pass ari kugira ngo apfire ibyaha by my mercy it was to die for the sins of the world kugira ngo bazamwemera bose so that whoever believes in him but zarimbuka will never perish ahubwo bazabe ho buzima bwose ubuzima bwiteka but live eternally ubugingo bwiteka but live eternally ubugingo buhoraho live forever nibwo dukwiriye guharanira that is what we have to strive for nibwo dukwiriye guhirimbanira that is what we have to look up mu gitondo sasitana ni mugoroba na nijoro you know morning day and afternoon and every time igihe cyose all the time mu mukristo as a christian aho waburi hose whatever you are ibyo wabukora whatever you are doing ugabikora utekereza ngo you have to think ndi mu rugendo that i am in the journey urugendo ndi mu rufite iherezo the journey i am going through has a destination ar ibyo herezo and that destination no bugingo buhora is eternal life ubugingo buhora kugira ngo tubugeremo for us to enter eternal life jambo rya tubwiye ngo the word told us biradusaba kugira imitima iboneye we need to have pure hearts biradusaba we need kugira umwete to have the zeal wo guhora twezwa of being pure and being holy kugira ngo tubeho twiteguye so that we we'll be ready all the time kugira ngo twitegure for us to be ready igihe cyari cyo cyose that every any moment isaha iyo ari yo yose any time imana yabigenera when god wishes yuko kristo agaruka kujana itorero for jesus to come to take the church agasanga witeguye you got to be ready when he comes arega rimwe na rimwe you know sometimes hari gihe nibyo natangiye mvuga bitewe nuko tuba twaramenyereye ibintu sometimes we take things casual that's what i was saying okay, in the beginning okay yuko bitewe nuko buri munsi ubona ku wambere ukageza ku cyumweru ukageza ku wundi wambere you think because you're living from monday to another monday ukwezi kugashira a month passes ukwa kabiri a second month ukwa gatatu a third month ukabona umwaka urarangiye you know you see the year is done ugafata wa kabiri you take another year ugafata wa gatatu you take a third year icumi gashira 10 years pass 20 years 30 years kageza myaka 100 you get very many years noneho ukagira ngo aho ukabimenyera uko ukumva ni kintu cy'ikinyenga ugenderamo you know you get used to it and you feel you're in a comfort zone nuhe agaciro and you don't value ubuzima imana iguhaye the life that the lord is giving you nuna tekereze ko igihe cyari cyo cyose you don't even think that any time ushobora kurangira your life can be done Nero hano nituvuga kugaruka kwa 
So when we talk about the return of Jesus to the church, and we talk about eternal life, which you shall get, those who believe in God, you know, you may think about it as riddles. Maybe you think about the coming of Jesus. Mm, you think it is so far. Maybe it is some time to come. It is possible. He can come today. He cannot even come. He may come next year. He may come in the next 10 years. He may come even the next 200 years. But in those 200 years, you won't be living. If you won't be living by then, what it requires of you is this. The life you live, if it is 20 years, if it is 40 years, if it is 100, you need to live those years when you are pure. When you have a pure heart. Because when you die, you want to be having the opportunity that is in the scripture saying that you have to get the effort of being holy. That opportunity will not be there. We have the opportunity today. We can read the word for ourselves. We can hear the word that makes us remember, that asks us to be holy, that asks us to have pure hearts. If we have pure hearts, if we die, when the trumpet sounds that's what the scripture says that those who died in Christ will come back to life when they come back to life they won't be brought to shame but they will inherit eternal life what I'm saying is this we should don't think about the coming of Jesus so much Think about his coming. But don't emphasize the period of his coming. Don't postpone his coming. If you think about the period and his, the time of his coming, Think about that he can come in the time you are living in. When you think about his coming, and you think because you haven't seen him for the last 50 years, you haven't seen him come, and you think it will be like that for the next 100 years, and you start postponing years. When the time of his coming comes, I will spare time for his holiness and being pure before God. That is in the right way. We don't know the time. That is a mystery of God. We don't know the time and the, and the real period. That is why we need to emphasize a life of holiness. Living pure hearts that is holy before God. Let us read another scripture. Timoteo, we're going to read uh, first Timothy. The first episode of Paul to Timothy. Uh, chapter 6. Morongo. And verses 12. 6 and verses 12. Urwani Nambara and Zizayo Kizera, Usinji Rujing of Hora, Ugoa Hamagariwe, Ukabga Turira, Kwa Turakwiza, in Bereya Hamia Bench. Uje Urwana in Nambara and Zizayo Kizera. Usinjire ubujingo buhoraho ubwo wahamagariwe ukabwaturira kwatura kwiza imbere y'abahamya benshi Amen 1 Timothy 6 and verses 12 Fight the good fight 
of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Hano, in this scripture, uh, Paul was speaking to Timothy. He was tell telling him to always fight a good fight of faith. For you to get hold of eternal life. That eternal life that is what we are called for. That is what we are called for as Christians. It is the most essential of all things. But for us to get in that we need to have pure hearts. Pure hearts it isn't easy sometimes. You need to take very hard measures. Sometimes you get to restrict some things. Sometimes you get rid of some people. Sometimes you don't go somewhere. There is some effort that you need to render. You know there is a cost for this. For you to be able to get hold of eternal life for which we are called as the scripture is telling us. That that is what we are called for. So Paul, Paul was telling Timothy to always fight a good fight of faith so that you can get hold. You know, getting hold, it isn't so easy. There is a hard cost for this. And that is why Timothy was told that always fight a fight so that you can get hold because we are called for that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise the name of the Lord. So I wanted to tell you eternal life is there. It is the principal prize that we were given that is what we strive for to get as Christians. But even if the prize is there there is some effort we need to put in for us to inherit the kingdom of God so that you can see and get that in all the world. But the scripture Timothy has been told always fight a good fight. The reason you fight a good fight so that you can be able to get hold of eternal life for which you were called. Brethren, following me, let me tell you, get some effort in you in whatever was bothering you. Always get the effort thinking about the principal prize which you were given as believers of God, as Christians, which is eternal life, which is life eternal. If you have, if you think about such, it can give you the strength of fighting the other fight so that you can get hold of eternal life. You fight with all your might so that you can get that life. that is eternal for which we are called. You know many times uh, winning a battle even in our usual life uh, we don't need uh, those atomic bombs and many other artilleries. You know, we need them. But if you have them alone, 
but in rugamba, but inside of you you have no purpose and mission for the battle or the purpose of the battle you're fighting nubwo baguha intwaro izo mu kirere izo kubutaka nizo mu mazi even if they give you all the types of weapons ushobora gutsindwa intambara cyangwa rugamba you can be overcome at ariko iyo ufite muri wowe but inside of you if you have uzi icyo rugamba ugiye kurwana if you have the purpose and you know the reason and you know the reason of fighting uzi no ngo nindu tsinda nzagera kuri iki ngiki and you know if you win you will get this ibyo ngibyo ushobora ku ushobora kurwana na ntwaro za kirimbuzo ufite you can fight without any big weapons ariko ugasho ugatsinda rugamba and you win the battle Ahanga ha rero nanone so here again nidusomesha muri nyamara ngo ngo murwane ntambara nziza yo kwizera the scripture is saying that fight the good fight of faith rwana iyo ntambara fight that battle ariko ikiri buguha imbaraga zo kukomeza urwana iyo ntambara but the source of your strength to continue fighting na kindi it is nothing else usibye gutekereza kungororano but thinking about the price uzahabwa numara gutsinda iyo ntambara for which you'll be rewarded after winning the battle nico gishobora kuguha imbaraga that will only give you the power mu ntambara hagati in the midst of the battle mu ntambara y'ubuzima in the midst of the battles in life ah ibihe bigoye bikaza had time is come ariko ugakomeza ugakomeza urugendo but you keep on moving kuko ibishobora gukura mu rugendo ni byinshi because many things can get you off the journey ariko igishobora kugumisha mu rugendo but what can keep you going no utekereza aho rimo kujya you thinking about your destination utekereje ibyo uhuriye nabyo mu nzira when you think about what you meet on the way ibyo uhanga amaso gusa and you look at that only uzagarukira mu nzira you will stop on the way ariko ushoboye guhanga amaso aho urimo kugana but if you look at your destination icyo kizagufasha that you hope you kugenda utambuka walking and making steps cyangwa se urenza amaso and looking beyond imbogamizi zimwe na zimwe zishobora ushobora guhura nzo mu nzira the obstacles you may meet on the way kuko intumbero yawe because your major purpose naho urimo kugana is your destination mu kristo uri mu rugendo you christian walking the journey guhanga amaso cyane i want you to look at aho urimo kugana your destination ariho mu bujingo buhoraho which is eternal life nibyo bizaguha imbaraga and that will give you the strength cyo gushobora kurenga imbogamizi unyura mu nzira to overcome all the obstacles you meet in your way nuhanga maso imbogamizi when you look at the obstacles bizatuma wibagirwa it will make you forget ingororo no nyamukuru the principal reward bizatuma wibagirwa you will forget imbaraga ushobora kuba ufite the power that you have zo kuba washobora kunesha cyangwa se kurenga izo mbogamizi to overcome the obstacles ndagira ngo ubwire ngo komera i want to tell you that be strong nuchika intege don't give up nusubira inyuma don't backslide wireka gusenga don't stop praying uko byabimeze kose whatever the case may be akazi kahagaze whether you are fired from your work ubucuruzi bwahombye whether the businesses are losing warwaye whether you're sick warwaje whether you have a sickness uko byabimeze kose whatever the situation ichingenzi ni kimwe the principal thing is one na kandi nta ushobora kukikwaka and nobody can take it away from you uramutse wahisemo if you make the decision ushobora guhita kugambirira you can purpose ukavuga ngo ndashaka kuzakorera mu kigo runaka and so i want to work from such an organization wenda nuzabigereho and you don't maybe get it bitewe n'impamvu runaka because of abcd ziguturutseho cyangwa se ziguturutseho because of you or maybe as like stand of ari kura mutse wifitemo kugambirira muri wowe but if you have the purpose inside of you ukavuga ngo iyi ngororo nyamukuru and you said the principle you are ari yo bujingo buhoraho which is eternal life giye kwihirimbanira i have to strike kugira ngo nzara gubwami bw'imana so i inherit eternal life ukaje kukumara amaza muri wowe so you get the numwe ushobora kubikwaka nobody can take it away from you na nambara gazari zo sose no power whatsoever zishobora kuguhagarika can stop you uramutsugira ubuntu if you have the grace ugashobora kumaramaza and you have the zeal ukavuga ngo ngiye kugerageza uko nshoboye kose and you say i'm going to try with all my effort kugira ngo nshobore kubaho ubuzima bwejeje so that i live a pure life ukavuga ngo ngiye gukora iyo bwabaga i am going to use all kugira ngo nshobore kutunga umutima uboneye so that i have a pure heart nakabuza uzabigeraho whatever come may you will get it nakabuza uzabigeraho whatever happens you have to reach there ariko nutangira guhanga amasi imbogamizi but if look at the obstacles uzachikineje you will be weakened 
You won't arrive at anything. I want to strengthen you and say, you know, the word of God is so clear. Eternal life is there. If eternal life is there, we need to try and have pure hearts. We need to try and live a holy life. We need to try with all our efforts. And we have very pure hearts. But you have the zeal in you. Having the boldness within your heart. Saying even if Christ comes tonight. With no doubt inside of me. I can reign with him in eternal life. Hari hari umuntu umwe wegeze ku kutubwira akantu somebody told us something one day ubwira ngo mu bugingo buhoraho and they said in eternal life abigereranya ninzu buri muntu wese no kuvanga ngo nitumara ku nitufa muri uyu mubiri he was comparing it to a house saying but, that if we live this life, everybody will be having their own house. Living in that house in the kingdom of God. In other words, it is shifting. Living this life, going somewhere. As you can shift from where you are dwelling, you dwell in Kigali, and then you shift to another place. Maybe you are renting. You leave your renting house. You go and build your own house somewhere. You live there. And then he said, But in that place, in the kingdom of God, you know, it's true there is a house where you, you, live, where you shift to. But that house, you won't find it built. But that house is built by you. It means the house where you live in eternal life when you shift and when you die, that house where you live is built by you. If it is built by you, you don't build it when you get there. But you build it today. You build it while living. You build it while listening to such words. How do you build it? You build it while living a holy life. You live a pure life before God. Preparing such that any day when Jesus comes to take the church you will be the right candidate. So those houses we build them when we are still living. When we are still alive. So another thing. That house. If you will shift that house for sure. If you will surely live there. You need to go there when that house is done. Is you need to get there when it is complete. When nothing is missing. Maybe today you are living in a very incomplete house. It is possible. Maybe you can reach some level. Then you enter the house and start furnishing it when you're there. You furnish it years over years. 
and then you spend like five years Uchu, when you're still building your house. Ariko, buzima, buhora, chumubujingo, buhora ho, but when you talk about eternal life, Ayo abamo, those houses where you shall live, you know there is a cost we need to give. Kuyubaka, the cost of building usabga. that you need to render for you to get there when the house is complete. You can't live in it when it is halfway. It is impossible. It has to be complete. And then you live in it. Or even you don't go there. There are only two things. You have to go there when it is complete. If it is not complete, forget about it. it. You will hear about it in the news. Let us read another scripture. Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. The second episode. Uh, that Paul wrote to Timothy. We are reading from chapter 4. Umurongo Kadere ku murongo wa mbere we are starting from verses 1 Ngo nagutongerera mu maso y'Imana no mu ya Kristo Yesu uciraho iteka abazima n'abapfuye ubwo azaboneka aje kwima ingoma ye ubwirize abantu ijambo ry'Imana ugira umwete mu gihe gikwiriye no mu kitagukwiriye uhane uteshe uhugure Ufite kwihangana kose no kwigisha kuko igiye kizaza batazihanganira inyigisho inyigisho nzima ahubwo kuko amatwi yabo azaba barya yifuza kumva ibanezeza bazigwiriza abigisha bahuje nirari ryabo kandi baziziba amatwi ngo batumva ukuri bazayoba bakurikize imigani y'ibinyoma Reka dusome mu nongo gatandatu dusimbuke dutuje ku nongo gatandatu Ravuze ngo kuko jeweho maze kumera nk'ibisuko ku gicaniro igihe cyo kugenda kwanje gisohoye narwanye ntambara yo narwanye ntambara nziza narangije urugendo narinze ibyo kwizera ibisigaye mbikiye ikamba byo gukiranuka Iryo umwami wacu umucamanzu utabera azama kururya munsi nyamara si yegeye nyine ahubwo nabakunze kuzaboneka kwe bose Deka mucyo nyiza dusomera hereko munongo wa gatandatu wenda let us read second timothy 4 and verse 6 for i am already being poured out like a drink offering and the time for my departure is near verse 7 i have fought the good fight i have finished the race I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Hano, Paulo, here Paul, Hano, tuja kumunungwa munani, umunungwa karingwa, ifa ngu, narikuanyi inambaransiza, verse 7, he says, I have fought the good fight. Ngu, narangije urujendo. I have finished the race. Narinze, ibjo kuize. I have kept the faith. Ngu, no, neho, ibisigaye. For there is now. Nyumaya kurguana inambara. After fighting the fight. Inambaransiza. A good fight. Kufanda anjiju urujendo. Now that I'm done with the race. Kufanda narinze, ibjo kuize. Now that I've kept the faith. Ngu, no, neho, ibisigaye. Now what is remaining? Now a crown is kept for me. The crown of righteousness. That the Lord our God. The righteous judge. Will give me on that day. And then he said it's not only me. But also those who longed for his appearing. So after Paul fought the good fight, after living a pure life, he says what is remaining for me is now only one, is getting the crown, getting the reward. Because other things, I did all the requirements. 
It's like how you can go to school. You, you study as you're required to study. You do all the exams and win. And then you say, Now what I'm remaining with is, one, is getting my certificate. Because I followed all the classes. All the tests and quizzes they gave me, I did them. All the exams I passed them. What I'm waiting for is just one. Is getting a certificate for my education. Such a person before the certificate comes, but you know you followed all the classes. You know you passed all of them. Even if the certificate has come, you feel so heavy you. you have the faith. You have that, uh, that pride. That is what Paul was saying here. He said, I kept the faith. I completed the race. I fought a good fight. Now what is remaining is getting the crown. But not only me. Also those who longed for the coming of Christ. We are also among us those. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, I was giving you an example of a student. When you go to class and you're a student, when you spend some years in school and not doing exams, and you just got there in school, you want to get a certificate. When others are graduating, you want to rejoice with them. Even if you spent the years like they spent. But what you were doing in that time is different. So you were not rewarded. Because you attended school. No. But you are rewarded. Because you did what a student is required to do. If you go to school. And you study. And you give up when you're about to go to it. The certificate of the graduates, you can't get it. You can never get it. So also in the journey of the Christian, it is the same. If you start the journey, you walk through battles, you fight and overcome some. When you reach and find some obstacles, when you look at them, and you don't look at the destination, and you get weakened, you backslide, you leave the way. You want to be rewarded because you participated in the journey. You will never be rewarded. Those who complete it will be rewarded only. There are some people who started this journey. They do very mighty things. And the time comes. They backslide. They devalue the things of God. Maybe you enter salvation because Jesus was about to come. Then you get 50. You don't see the end of times. And then you feel no judgment will come. And then you lose your strength. Then you backslide. You leave the ways. But I wanted to say to you, the power that you used, it was good. But if you left the ways, the other strengths, the other strengths, in, this, in the talk of these days, we say you multiply it by zero. Because every digit you multiply by zero, even if it is a very, very high figure, 
Even if you multiply by zero, it becomes nothing. So this is the, the same here. We shall not be rewarded because at one time we sang and left the singing. We shall not be rewarded because we spoke, we spoke the gospel at one time and then we left we it. We won't be rewarded because we got born again at one time. But the time came and we left it. But those who will be rewarded are those who entered it and they continue until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Only that we receive the reward. I wanted to encourage you brethren you who is in the journey don't give up. You had reached somewhere. You passed through hard things. Those things discouraging you now. If you weigh them. They are not even harder than those that you pass through. Maybe those you pass through. Were even harder than those a thousand times. Or even more than that. But because you began with hardships, when you meet an obstacle, you start losing your You backslide little by little. Now you give up. At a stage which was about to be leveled, even if we don't know that leveled place, what I'm talking about, the leveled place I'm talking about is that period that Paul had reached into. And we say that now, well, I've completed everything. What I'm remaining with is one is getting eternal life. There is a pastor I always follow. He spoke an amazing phrase. He said, I've spent many years preparing and saying, why isn't Jesus coming and taking me? Meaning that he spent many years saying, Jesus, please come, come. As he says, Jesus, if he comes and takes me, <laughs> the wife says, please wait, don't go. If my wife says go, maybe I can go because I'm at a level where I feel with my heart that I can say such words that I fought a good fight now deliver blood I need to get the crown of righteousness I wish we have such hearts I wish God gives us the grace and gives us the strength of boldness so that we we'll have such hearts. As we wind up, I want to tell that nobody knows the times and the periods. That's why we need to to mind about the way we walk our lives. To mind about what we do on a daily basis. To mind about what we talk about. To mind about your usual life. Because any time, when you talk about those who have died because of the pandemic, Nobody ever knew that such a pandemic would come. Even those who are dying because of other illnesses. Nobody ever knew that they would die because of such a disease. But what we need to mind about is we need 
to be ready all the time. We need to be holy all the time. We need to have pure hearts. So that when your chariot comes, any chariot, it finds you ready and prepared. It is the most valuable of all things. I talk about this so many times. In Kinyarwanda, when somebody dies, they say he has responded to God's call. Ariko mubyukuri but for sure kwitaba imana uvuze uwumvise jambo kwitaba imana when you hear about that answering god umva ko ari kujya mwijuru ko imana iba mwijuru you know you think it is going to heaven because god is in heaven kandi byanditswe byo bikavuga ngo and the scriptures say ngo bafite imitima iboneye that those who have pure hearts ngabobonyine only those nyo bazayibona will see god ngo bafite umwete wo kwezwa that those who have the zeal of being righteous will see God. Now I ask myself, if I die today without being holy, without a pure heart, for sure, have I answered God? Am I meeting God? Am I going to meet God? So I think uh, Rwandis romanticize it and they don't want to call it death as it is called in Kenya Rwanda. Yeah, I think they try to Christianize it if I can put it that way. To Christianize it. They make it sound good. But it is so bad. If we say it is meeting God or answer God. And we think if we live anyhow, if you die, you will meet God. But because what the scripture says that those who will see God are those with pure hearts. Are those who are holy. Now, let's go to Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. For me, I don't believe that whoever dies meets God. And you know, like when somebody dies, you know, on social media, at funerals and at the cemeteries, they say God give them eternal life. Sometimes I'm reserved in saying that because because talking about it telling me about it when I never strived for it when I never had a zeal of being pure those words they tell me when I'm in the grave I don't believe they can make me meet and enter eternal life. But what I'm required of is I live a pure life. I live, I live at peace with everybody as the scripture says. I live with God purely. So that at the day of my death Whatever is said has no value. Whether they say God give him eternal life, even if they ill talk Ill of you, provided you lived with God the right way, you did all essential things to live peacefully with everybody. And God was happy with you. Even if some people are not happy how you lived with them, and for you did whatever was possible to live at peace with everybody. You did everything to have a pure heart. That is the principal and most important thing. It is the most important thing. That is what every Christian needs to strive for. That is what they need to have the zeal for. So that on such a day, we will be having those belief, the belief that you shall inherit the kingdom of God. We have to do that when we are still living. 
tunyura mu bitugoye tunyura mu muri kino gihe passing through all the obstacles that Nabwo tuzarwana intambara mu bintu byoroshye we want to fight in easy ways koko kurwana intambara nyiri urumva ahari intambara nuko abari ahari because you feel and you understand that wherever there is a battle, things aren't easy. So if they aren't easy, and yet you're required to reach eternal life, you need to strive for it. You need extra strength. But that power, you don't fight in the kind of ways. When you have the zeal in you, God enables you. Paul said that I'm enabled by Jesus who gives me strength. Uh, yes, we say everything requires strength. But we need to ask God to give us the strength. Let Jesus give us the strength. That is when we shall fight and overcome the battle. If we use our kind of strength, we cannot overcome. But, but if we use the power of Jesus, the golden power, even if you meet very high mountains, before you, whatever the situation, nothing can challenge you. May the good Lord bless you. Thank you so much. I pray that God will do good to you. I ask that we. Get these words and mind about them. We mind about them on a daily basis. So that it becomes a life If you were about to give you that had not received Jesus, I ask you to receive Jesus so that the reward we are talking about you also inherit it and get it. The scripture talked about it. That those who will get it are those with pure hearts only. Father Lord, we do thank you. We give you glory. Thank you for your word. We thank you for this time, Lord. We thank you for your with us. We thank you for your spotlight. We pray that this word be rooted in the heart of everybody. That as we live, as we walk, as we work, let you be in your will. So that our hearts Lord, don't go away from your will. Let the honor and glory, Father, we be to you. you. For now and forever. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. Amen. Amen.